Hi and welcome to Watch and Work. Watch and Work is a series of service videos from Contitech for automotive mechanics. My name is Stefan Meyer and in each video I'll show you a different vehicle engine. Let's see which one we're looking at today. Today I've brought you an Opel engine to show you. It's a 1.7 liter HDI engine with 74 kilowatts from a 2008 Opel Corsa C. Its engine code is Z17DTH. We have two different belt change intervals, 100,000 kilometers or 10 years for engines manufactured until 2005 and from 2006, 90,000 kilometers or 10 years. You need the CT1178K1 timing belt kit for this engine. First prepare the engine by removing the undershield, engine mounting, multi-V belt and engine cover. To remove the timing belt guard, you have to dismantle the engine mounting bracket, this drive sprocket and the torsional vibration damper. There are three markings for setting the timing. One on the crankshaft here at 12 o'clock that must be aligned. An 8 mm bolt is screwed in here at roughly 4 o'clock, along with a 6 mm bolt here at the top in the 8 o'clock position. 6 mm and 8 mm bolts are the only special tools you need. The timing has now been set correctly. You now undo the tensioner pulley's bolt, allowing you to loosen the tensioner pulley by turning it counterclockwise using a 6 mm hex key. You then remove the timing belt and replace the parts. You must make sure that the tensioning spring is not caught behind the base plate at the rear when fitting the new tensioner pulley, as the pulley will otherwise be slanted. To do so, place the tensioner pulley in position and push it flat against the engine so that the spring cannot slip behind it here. Just lightly tighten the bolt at first and hook the spring behind this bolt. Make sure that the spring stays in place. Then screw in the bolt until finger tight and move the tensioner pulley to its zero position, which will allow you to fit the belt more easily afterwards. To do this, turn the tensioner pulley to this position with the adjustment tool at roughly 3 o'clock, then simply tighten the tensioner pulley's bolt and fit the timing belt. You fit the new belt in a clockwise direction, starting at the crankshaft. The tensioner pulley is the final point the belt is passed around. So, you have fitted the timing belt. You now need to tension it correctly, making sure you do the following. The tensioner pulley bolt is only finger tight at the moment and will not be tightened properly until later. Now remove the two locking bolts and turn the crankshaft bolt back 60 degrees against the engine's direction of rotating until the marking meets the teeth. Once this has been done, you have to tighten the tensioner pulley's bolt to 38 Newton meters, turn the engine over to six full revolutions and check the timing again. If the timing is fine, you can reassemble the engine. Don't forget our seal of quality. Place our part replacement sticker in the engine compartment where it is clearly visible so that the customer sees you've installed quality.